Abbey Pet Hospital in Fresno cares for your pet like it was their own. Whether it's immunizations or surgery your cat or dog needs, Abbey Pet Hospital is trained and ready to help your animal live its best life. And here to explain more about their services and their sponsoring of the Clear the Shelters adoption event, we have veterinarian Dr. Ashley Collins along with veterinarian technician Tiffany Knazel. And we thank you ladies both for thank being you. here. Thank yeah. you for having us. Oh, we're so excited. So as everyone knows, we've been clearing the shelters all week. Talk Talk about why Abbey Pet Hospital, Dr. Collins, wanted to be involved in that movement. You know, many dogs end up in shelters for a number of different reasons, and um, they all are just ready to give love and yeah. and and get love in in return. So, um, a good portion of our patients are from shelter right, situations, right. Um, and obviously that that makes it. Um, a good a win win for, yes, for both it does. people. It's a perfect fit. So, Tiffany, as a vet tech, what's it like working with the animals every day? Tell us a little bit about oh, what you do. It is um, the most amazing feeling when you get to give back to something, um, you know, like an animal from the shelter or one that was yeah. purchased when you can give back um, and be able to help them and see the outcome. Like if they come in, um, sick and you've followed them along this whole thing, yes. that's the part that feels good when you know that you're one that helps. And they go to a loving home. Yes. So after someone adopts a pet, I know Dr. Collins, it's important for you to remind them of how to take care of it, right? Because yeah. there's a lot to do. It's, it's, a, it's not like a child, but you've got to take them to the doctor, same things, and yeah. you're that doctor, Dr. Collins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think the first thing that I would recommend is just to bring them in initially. Um, for a number of different reasons, we can make sure that they're they're free of any diseases, any parasites that mm -hmm. may be harmful to your other pets that you already have, or to you or your children. Um, and then vaccines, we can make sure that they're all up to date. Usually, the shelters are pretty good at getting them started, mm -hmm. but depending on their age, sometimes they're not completely vaccinated, and so they may be running around unprotected from certain things. So right. that. Uh, at us as veterinarians and vet technicians, we can look at that record and make sure that they have everything that they're going to need, depending on what their lifestyle is going to be with yeah, their new yeah. home. And Tiffany, what do you recommend in terms of preventative, like flea and tick? Oh yes, definitely. Um, we recommend that they get on a lifelong flea and tick um, medication along with those flea and tick medications normally mm -hmm. help preventative in the parasite oh, yeah. aspects too um, and heartworm preventative because we are growing um, in the heartworm here in the valley. Yes, I'm glad you brought that up because we actually are talking heartworms right after this. Yep. But let's talk more about your facility, the Abbey Pet Hospital. So, so kind of tell us the setup and, and everything yeah. that you offer in terms of services. We see everything. Um, we see wellness exams from you know vaccines and preventative medicine like we talked about. Um, but we do see a lot of emergency cases mm. too. So. Um, hit by cars, Ooh. bit bys, um, snakes, abscesses, yeah, yeah rattlesnakes, um, and we have nine doctors mm. um, there. We have a ton of veterinary technicians who are very well qualified and very, yeah. ca very caring. Um, and we uh, are open Monday through Friday and Saturday half day. Um, we're pretty much we're there and yes. we, we make sure that they're well taken care of. I know you're ready to help oh. everybody. As a hospital though, do you also do kind of intensive surgeries for pet owners? Yeah, we um, we do a lot of emergency surgeries. I just did an, a, um, a foreign body removal yesterday. So, really? Um, a dog had swallowed something? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. So it really just depends. Um, whatever your dog needs, you know, if there's something that we can't help you with, we'll make sure that you get to the right place yeah. that you need to be. Because not every facility does surgeries, correct? That's the Correct. difference here. Yeah, so we do spays and neuters. Um, we try and discount them. That's kind of how Abby got started a number of years ago, mm -hmm. um, is uh, as a low cost spay and neuter clinic. Um, so we try and maintain some of that. Yeah. Um, so we can do the, the routine um, surgeries, but also the emergency surgeries. That's um, awesome. You know, fracture repairs, um, exploratories, uh, tumor removals, Whoa. abscesses. Yes, all the that big fun stuff, stuff you yeah. never want to happen, but <laughs> if it did happen to your loving animal, it's good that you guys are yeah. there. Yeah. So, Tiffany, can you tell us where you're located and, and how folks can reach out? So we are located on um, Ashland in the 168, or that little road beside us is Barton. Um, 
and most people know us by the dog in yeah. the statue. Okay, that <laughs> thing is hilarious. On <laughs> yeah, so it's a dog outside your facility peeing yes. on. It's a fire hydrant, or yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And actually, a person that lives close by One of made that clients, out yeah. of um, recycled material. That's really yeah. neat. That's really cool. Well, you guys have so much personality, and and the facility itself is, I know, clean and state of the art. And you mentioned nine doctors. Oh my goodness, yeah. you guys are going to take care of lots of animals. So please reach out to Abby Pet Hospital, and we thank you for being a sponsor of Clear yeah. the Shelters and helping to clear the shelters. No yeah. more animals in those shelters. That's our goal. Get out there. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks. Stay tuned, everybody. Now that we've cleared the shelters and brought our puppies home, we need to talk heartworms. That's right. We are going to see what they're all about and how to make sure your animals are safe right after this.